Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week's tutorial is a really good one because it's the only solution on the internet for this. Today I'm showing you how to disable the pre-made Divi layouts. So there's no feature for this in Divi. There's not even anything in the role editor for it. And it's not something you can just do with some CSS or something like that, and I'll explain that. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do this. Let's take a look quickly at what I'm talking about. All right, so anytime you're in the Divi Visual Builder and you have these page settings open here, you hover over this plus icon, it says load from library. And that term is actually not, doesn't seem the best, but load from library. When you click on that, you're seeing uh, pre-made layouts, which is what we're going to hide as the first tab. Notice that this tab is active and also your saved layouts and your existing pages. What we want to do is hide this pre-made layouts tab. And you know, if you're like me, your first thought might be, well, I'll just use some CSS and hide this. Well, but you're still going to have these loaded. So that's the problem. So we're not just hiding this tab, we're actually disabling these from loading. And we actually um, will do, we'll, we'll hide the tab, disable these, and also one more thing, when we make a new page, so I'm just going to literally open a new page here, and you'll you'll see this, you'll remember this. You get these options, right? So the middle option is choose a pre-made layout. Well, by choosing this, this is kind of like a shortcut link, you know. We would want this to be hidden too if we're trying to hide the layouts, because if I click on this, it opens up this, <laughs> all right? So uh, we need to get rid of that also. Uh, by the way, you can follow along on the blog post, but it's really literally just inside the Divi Assistant. Um, it's the only way to do this is with our plugin. It's called Divi Assistant. Uh, at the at the time of release, we had like 78 features. Now at the time of recording, we have 85, and there's going to that number is going to hit well over 100 pretty soon. Um, and anyway, so we already showed you what we're talking about disabling those things. You may be wondering why can't we do this with a snippet? Well, it's like I said, it's loading everything and we can't just hide that because if you hid that, it would just be like a blank, like it wouldn't work. So we actually have to use code and programming to get in there and kind of hack the Divi Builder and disable it. So that's why it's not something that I can just say, here's a snippet. I usually do like to give snippets. And by the way, I give snippets and I'm going to be giving a lot of snippets even for things that are in Divi Assistant, which is our flagship plugin that has all these hacks and features, right? But I'll also be giving you tutorials that have code. This one we can't, it's just not possible. Um, it's just a different kind of thing. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Go into Divi Assistant. All right, so wherever you're at in the, in the back end here, click on Divi Assistant, and then it will be in the Utility Helper, and then in the Visual Builder sub tab there, and in fact, you can see it right here, the second one, hide pre-made layout. So I'm gonna have that enabled. And now I'm going to refresh the builder. Alrighty, let's take a look here. So now um, if I'm a client or just for yourself, you want this to be off, I can go in here and click this and notice that your saved layouts is the default tab and these here loaded because they're on that tab. Um, I can still switch here, but the other tab is gone. Now let's check also a new page. I'll just click on add a new page and when that, um, you know, whatever we're calling this comes up, we have these two options now. So we have done it well, we've completed it and um, hit everything. So that's it, that's what this tutorial is about. Actually, yeah, a little reminder, you can still see them on their website, but this is really nice, especially when you have your clients um, using the site and you just don't, you just don't use it or you just don't want them to use it. You know, you don't want them messing with it. Um, and so it's it's a nice way to disable it. And then obviously with Divi Assistant, when you import and export, um, you can have that either on and off, you know, configure your site for the next site that you do. All right, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to uh, subscribe because we do this all the time every week. And when you see this question come up, now you know there's a solution and you can find it and share the link to it. We appreciate that. Um, yeah, a lot of you are not subscribed, um, but we do this every week, something related to Divi, and we, we are going to continue doing that. Um, we now have hundreds of tutorials. And so, yeah, there you go.
Hope you enjoy it and we'll see you in the next video.